Hey, welcome back to another edition of Backyard Grill with Walter. Sorry it's been a couple months since my last video. My full-time job's gotten in the way. But tonight, I'm going to show you how to make a honey mustard chicken uh, with tomato and zucchini. It's going to be a foil wrap. We're going to do it out on the grill. But first off, we got to make this mustard glaze that we're going to put on top. Without further ado, let's get rolling and have a beer ready because you're going to have to have a few drinks along the way. All right, let's cut screen and go to the next clip. All right, for our honey mustard glaze, we're gonna do four teaspoons of oil. Get yourself a little saucepan. Uh, cut up one shallot. It's a, uh, don't mind my dog back there. Uh, it's like a little onion. It almost looks like a purple onion, not really sure, but it's a shallot. And couple cloves of garlic. I'm going to use freeze-dried garlic because that's all I've got today. And you're going to stir it up ever so slightly, uh, about two minutes over a medium heat to brown it. Let me see if I can turn this light on. I don't know if that helps at all or not. But I'm just going to stir it lightly until we soften up the onions a little bit, get it brown, nice and fragrant. So let me jump forward here. All right, it's been about two minutes. Probably hard to tell in there, but the uh, onions have a light yellow tint to it from the olive oil. Um, I don't want to cook them all the way because they're going to cook in the foil pack with the chicken, zucchini, and all that. So once you got those, we're going to take half a cup of Dijon mustard and four well, okay, sorry, let, let me back up here. Four tablespoons of Dijon mustard and two tablespoons of ground stone mustard. All right, we're gonna dump that in here. Then we're gonna take a quarter cup of honey, dump that on top. Get in there the best you can. And then already pre-made up a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of black pepper, and a teaspoon of paprika. If you have sweet paprika, that'd probably be good. We're going to lower our heat to a low. And we're just going to melt this. Stir it up nice and good. We're going to divide this between three chicken breasts. It's going to be a honey mustard chicken with tomatoes and zucchini if you want to add some bell pepper some green and some red for color go ahead so get all stirred up nice and good if you want to use whole grain mustard instead of the ground stone mustard that'd probably be a good choice a little bit more expensive all right we'll take this off the heat let it set and let's go back and prep the other stuff. All right, so for this part, easy day. We're going to take our zucchini or squash, whatever you want to call it. Throw it in a bowl. I pre-sliced up some grape tomatoes. Throw those in there. You want to do, like I said, some red pepper, green pepper, go ahead. Here I got a half a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of pepper, and paprika. Bring that on top. All right, we'll just give these a quick little mixture. Make sure they're nice and coated a little bit. Easy day. All right. Well, then what I went ahead and did is pre-cut some aluminum foil, uh, 12 inches by about 18 or 20. You're going to take your chicken breast, lay it right in the middle. We're gonna grab a mixture of our zucchini and tomatoes. You wanna spread it out because I got three of them, but you can always mix up the uh, vegetables once we're done. All right, and then take your glaze. We put the glaze right on top, just enough to cover it. You be the judge of how much you want. It'd be a good dipping sauce. And then we're just going to fold it up. 
And we're going to cook this at about 350 degrees on the grill so it reaches a internal temperature of 165. We're going to probe it with an instant thermometer. So easy day, just like this. I'm going to do the other two. We'll go outside. All right, I got my grill warmed up to about 350 degrees. Let's open it up. If you have a baffle plate on yours, I do about halfway. You want to keep it nice and hot, 350. It's going to take your chicken, put it right on top. I may have messed up. I can't flip these over. All that stuff's just going to fall out the top of this foil. So we'll just let it ride at 350, give or take. Uh, for about 20 minutes, use your thermometer, probe it. Once it hits 165, it's done. All right, 15, 20 minutes should be good. Uh, yeah, so a little fast forward until it's done. Drink your beer, hydrate. Should be a good meal. All right. All right, it took 23 minutes to reach 165. So let's open it up and see what we got. It's hot, so be careful. Woo there we go. What you want to do, right, is take it out, your chicken breast, put it on a plate, put your zucchini around there, and your tomatoes. All right, this looks good. Mm -mm. Wish I had some bell peppers. My wife would love that. There you have it. You got some extra sauce in here. Be careful when you're throwing this away, but it's going to add. You can cut it up. Add it to your plate if you want. Let's uh, let's try this out. I'm gonna try this chicken. Mmm. -mm. Do a little taste test here. And I had to switch up my beers. I only had a couple Modelos, so I switched to Bud Light or Bush Light. Here's the you, Steve and Vicky. I know y'all are fans of it. That's a good meal. Not overbearing in the mustard flavor, so don't be worried about that. It does have a taste of mustard, honey. You can taste the chicken, the zucchini, and the uh, great tomatoes. Oh, man. Not a huge tomato fan, but it doesn't even taste like a tomato. It's amazing. Try it, folks. You'll love it. Till next time, Backyard Grill with Walter. All right.